When I first got into tech, I had to quickly learn what it means to be a software engineer. In this video, I'm going to talk to you a story about a kind of difficult time work-wise for me. I'm actually here filming from Jeju Island as I'm doing some traveling throughout Korea, throughout Asia. I'm walking along the main street here. And earlier today, my girlfriend and I went to a tea museum and it was nice to check out, but overly busy as well. And uh, just got done doing some work at a coffee shop. So uh, I thought I'll make this video for you today. And I was fortunate that when I started off my career, I did a, an a apprenticeship program at a tech company where it was, a, it was a paid training and they give you mentorship, people transitioning to become software engineers from non-traditional backgrounds like myself, how I was, I was a nightclub promoter for, before becoming an engineer. And, and just as a side note, if, if you're uh, new to being a software engineer or come from an untraditional route, try to look for companies hiring specifically. They'll look, they'll, there's companies hiring specifically for people with your background, people who are uh, junior level, people who come from a unique background, not a traditional computer science route. I know, I know it's tough now because things just keeps getting harder for entry level, but there's usually still some out there and you just be, you have to be highly competitive for the small amount of positions available that have these companies looking for the skill set you have. So as a side note, but anyways, I was fortunate, fortunate enough to do a, an apprentice program like this and during this, uh, I, I, was, I was put on the back end team and we had training where we had to complete, uh, develop an app, a training app. And I was on the back end team. There was eight of us, four, four in the back end, four in the front end. And the, we had to do it in Java. But the problem was I didn't, I didn't know Java. I, my experience was in JavaScript. That's what I interviewed with. And this, this project required Java. And it, it was not easy learning it because there's a, there's a huge jump in paradigm thinking between these programming languages. And I, I didn't have experience with this other paradigm. The, the environment set up is different. It, it, it feels, the coding, it just feels completely different than what I was used to. And the project needed to be done in a short amount of time, a couple of weeks or so. And then the worst part of it was that I got, I got sick during some of the time. So I, I've even felt more behind. So I felt stressed that we had to build a backend project where I wasn't comfortable with the lang programming language. Like I didn't have the basics down. My, and then my, my teammates were all carrying the weight. The, the, um, the, they were all carrying me. And then the, there was one guy who was exceptionally good at coding and he uh, contributed a lot. So how, how did I get through this? And I, I had to make a good impression so I can get a, after this apprenticeship program ended, I can get a full-time job there. So I, I had to, once, like in, once this project was beginning and I realized that I was behind in it, I had to quickly tell my manager that I felt uh, I, uh, I felt challenged for a bit learning this new programming language because this was something that I didn't know before. And um, the other students, not students, but the other uh, people in this program, they, they knew Java before, except for one other, but they, were, they um, had more experience than me. So I, I mentioned to my manager that I had uh, struggle learning it and then they're, they're more lenient on me as well 
And then when we're creating this project, I, I mentioned, and we would have meetings with the other apprentice students that I, I was feeling a little bit behind. And then I, I, I explicitly asked for easier tickets so I can feel like I can contribute more. And that actually kind of worked out because I was doing the easier tickets and I was able to make accomplishment, make progress, finish tickets out. Well, um, the other people can get more challenging tickets so they can feel more challenged for, the, for themselves. So, and then outside of communicating to the rest of the, my team that this is hard for me, I had to put in extra work. I, I just had to start from the basics, like I was learning coding for the first time, focusing on the syntax of Java, and then I couldn't really jump into what we're doing in the project at first, but focus mainly on the basics first. And then this program, um, this project uses like libraries that I had to learn as well. So, but the thing is this library in Drop Wizard wasn't, there wasn't a lot of documentation for Drop Wizard with uh, Java. So I had to learn a different library and then transferred what I learned to Drop Wizard. So I had to take extra time to learn a language outside of my normal work hours. I had to learn a comparable library to what I was doing for, for work and then transfer what, what I knew from the, pro the comparable project for it. And then ultimately I was able to contribute. Like I mentioned, I was able to do the easier tickets. So it wasn't like I didn't accomplish anything. And it worked out because I communicated to everyone what I was going through as well. So if you're having a hard time with coding, with work as an engineer or starting a business, you know that it's best to, to communicate your struggles with everyone involved. And you, you just have to do extra work outside of the normal hours so you can catch up and make a contribution to your team as well. So even though it can be hard, you can get through it like I did. And then I was able to get good reviews during my training and get a job from it as well. So that's all I wanted to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos that's to talk about coding, business, travel. And then I actually freelance web development. So if you need help on a project or you're working on a project and you wanna learn how to code so you can get a job as well or create your own app, I also help with coaching as well. So feel free to message me anytime.